This is a guide to replacing a digitizer and an LCD screen on the Apple iPad 3. Just like an iPad 2, the digitizer is a solid plane of glass which is glued around the perimeter onto the main body. As well, the placement of cables is almost identical except for a definite improvement around the volume buttons where the flex cables are now protected by a fastening shield. Please make note of the Wi-Fi antenna which is glued onto the glass and needs to stay with the main body during separation. We highly recommend using a heat gun or a hairdryer to help with separation. Other tools you will need are a Phillips and a flat screwdriver and a wide metal tool like a putty knife. Warm up the perimeter of the device with a heat gun. Do not apply heat for longer than a minute. This is just to warm up the working area to prevent the glass cracking from uneven heating. Then, insert the corner of your putty knife between the glass and the plastic gasket on the bottom right corner. The plastic gasket will ensure that you will not leave any dents or nicks on the aluminum body. As well, it is not necessary to remove and is best to leave in place unless damaged. Warm up the bottom and the right edges and continue separation with a putty knife. Do not insert the blade further than a quarter inch under the digitizer. Apply heat as needed and work the putty knife through the glue up and down the right edge. We recommend having a few pieces of plastic to insert under the digitizer to prevent the glue from adhering back in place. Line the entire right edge with plastic, then move on to the bottom edge. Be very careful to not insert the putty knife more than a quarter inch around the Wi-Fi antenna. It should separate on its own if the heat is applied evenly and thoroughly. Continue separation from right to left with the help of a heat gun, then insert a piece of plastic to the left of the home button. Then, move on to the top edge, repeating the separation procedure with a putty knife and a heat gun. Insert a piece of plastic right above the power button. To separate the digitizer further, use your fingers and apply upward pressure on the separated right edge, then apply heat to areas which are still glued in. Here we are finishing up the top and the bottom edges, then focusing on the left edge. Gently lift the digitizer up at the right angle to the body. Do not open it any wider as it seems that there will be too much strain on the connecting cable. You will need to keep the digitizer in this position until the LCD screen is removed. You can remove the plastic pieces used during separation. Then proceed on removing four Phillips screws holding the LCD in place. Then, lift the LCD screen up and slide it forward to expose the connections underneath. Then, using a flat screwdriver, open the three connector latches securing the digitizer and the video connector on the opposite side of where the cables plug in. Then, remove a small piece of tape securing the cable to the connector, then disconnect the screen and set it aside. Move on to a small piece of tape securing the digitizer's cable to the connector. It may help to pick it with a flat screwdriver first. Carefully lift the digitizer and ensure that the cable is properly removed from the frame and then disconnect it. At this point, new or original digitizer can be reconnected. Make sure to remove any protective film from the inside of the digitizer, if present. Then, slide the cable back in the connector. You may use a flat screwdriver to gently help sliding the cable in place. Ensure that both white lines in the cable are hidden by the connector, which will indicate proper positioning. Then, secure connector latches and then replace the black tape onto the connector. Then, reconnect the LCD screen. Secure the connector latch and replace black tape. The digitizer's flex cable is routed under the LCD cable, so it is best to keep the LCD panel propped up while rerouting the digitizer's cable back in place. 
Then, slide the LCD panel back onto its mount while holding the digitizer at the right angle and secure four LCD screws. At this point, it is imperative to remove any dirt, dust, smudges, and fingerprints from the LCD screen and the inner side of the digitizer. Use a dry, lint-free cloth or a good paper towel. You may want to bring the digitizer close above the screen without dropping it all the way down to inspect the surfaces for any remaining grime. The black surface of the screen will make it very easy to spot any unwanted residue. Once you are completely sure that the surfaces are clean, close the digitizer back in place, align it properly with a plastic gasket, then apply heat around the perimeter to warm up the glue to provide better adhesion. And you're done.